Alright. Yep. And so that's the theory Z, uh, people. All right. Now, now let's talk about management. Uh, this is the cartoon. It says, "It's simple, Craig. The ship had anything that doesn't look like a way to manage." And that's how people, that's how managers have been trained in the U.S. Here, you're the manager now. Peter Principle. Ever heard of the Peter Principle? You, you, you get to the point where you're incompetent. You are promoted to the point of incompetency. That's Peter Principle. Uh, because you're not really trained how to do the job you jump into. So you're incompetent until you build competency. Does that make sense? Well, this is it. The two words that I want you to remember are the words systematic and repeatable. And the way I got that is in Oak Ridge, they were having a GAO, GAO audit or OMB audit. I can't remember. One of the two. I got them both down there. I have to look it up. But uh, they had all the managers of Oak Ridge come in, and, and I was the one person that set up all these meetings for all those audits, right? So every manager had to go through this, and, and as I was sitting there, it, it dawned on me. There's only, these auditors were only looking for two words, and if you can master these two words, you could pass any audit. And that's systematic repeatable. Do you have smart people developing your system and can you repeat it, no matter who does that job? Systematic repeatable. So I'm going to show you a systematic and repeatable way of good management. And I call this excellent management. So here's a link management systems model that I developed. And we're going to talk about the first phase of that, how to become better at getting results. Now, if you think of excellent management, you can use a picture of a mobile. A mobile, if you picture that spot right there on the ceiling. Picture a mobile hanging from that spot. It's in perfect balance. That's a picture of excellent management. Grab a hold of that mobile. You can move it anywhere you want. That movement comes from good leadership. That hand that you grab a hold of it is called leadership. First step is leadership. You can't have excellent management without excellent leadership. Okay? Because you don't just manage in a vacuum. You have people around you. And the only way that people do things is, I mean, the best way is to lead them and, and help them do things and help them get results, right? Well, that hand's holding on to the string. You see that mobile up there? You cut that string, everything falls apart. What's that string called? And that string's called culture. That's the second step. First, work on leadership, get leadership right, then work on the culture. You can't have theory X everywhere. You know, employees. You have to prove that. And, and like Janet says, that's the longest thing. But it's the second step. Third step is that string is tied onto a bar. That bar is called customer focus. Everything you do hangs on that bar. If you don't know who your customer is, then you shouldn't be working. You should be home. Because you're not needed. Everybody has a customer. If you don't think you have a customer, you shouldn't have a job. Does that make sense? I'll put it this way. Customers can only be number one if they come third. Leadership has to say customers are number one. Culture has to accept the fact customers are number one. And then you can make customers number one. You see, you can't just start with customers. you got to start with leadership. And then you got to build the culture that accepts that. The next step, this big block's called teams. Now these are just words, but teams means people working together. People throughout your